this week for those of you that are new welcome and if you're not already subscribed and would like to be make sure that you click that subscribe button I do put out new videos every week and this week's video is Beauty and the Beast inspired the movie recently came out so naturally you're going to see tons of Beauty and the Beast stuff everywhere but I haven't seen Beauty and the Beast planters yet so I wanted to make a Beauty and the Beast chip the teacup planter so if you guys want to try this at home Let's get started. So I started with this clear cup from Dollar Tree and these condiment bowls that are also from Dollar Tree. They come four to a pack, I believe. And I just set them outside and gave them a coat of Krylon primer. So you wanna make sure that the entire thing is covered in white and make sure that they dry really, really well before you move on to your next step. So when they were dry, I did trace out a chip the teacup face, and I will teach you guys how to do that later on. Then I added some painter's tape around the rim just to create a straight line. And I went in with my metallic gold and drew the straight line. This was very opaque because it's glass paint, so I had to keep layering it. Every time it would dry, I would go over with another coat. I went in and did the same thing to the handle. So I removed the painter's tape before anything can fully dry just so it didn't crack because I've had that happen before. And while that dried I moved on to the condiment bowl and I just drew a kind of like a tear shape with some Sharpies. You can do this with paint, but I didn't have a small enough brush to do this and I thought this would be more precise. So I went in with a lighter color in blue and I painted the blue in. And for the pink, I did end up using some paint. So while you're painting this, if you do make any mistakes, do not worry about it. You can always cover it up and go over it with Sharpie. This is homemade, so you really don't have to be a perfectionist. For that lilac color, I did mix up these two colors and then filled in the rest of the saucer. So once everything was fully dry, I grabbed my gold paint and painted a rim of gold around it. So after everything dried completely, I went in with a Sharpie and this one has two ends and with the fine tip, I drew the eyes and the eyes, if you look at it, is basically an upside down U. And then you're going to draw something that looks like a little tidal wave just to give it some expression. And on the inside, you're going to draw a half circle and then another half circle above that. And then just draw a little tiny circle up top just to give it a little glimmer of light. So with my same Sharpie, I filled it in in black. And again, you can use paint, but I didn't really want to go and grab another paint. And then the bottom half I filled in with a blue Sharpie. So then now with my black Sharpie, I drew a little eyebrow up top. And with the fine tip, 
I tried my best at drawing the mouth with little expression lines. So with the same fine tip, I tried to draw the crack, which was a V, a very shaky V, and I filled it in with more black. So with a pink marker, I drew a little tongue inside of the mouth. And everything should look like this. So now to assemble everything, you want to grab your E6000 and you want to spread that on the rim of the saucer. And then just place your bowl on top and let it dry really, really well before moving on to your next step. So at this point, you can go ahead and add your plant. I wasn't going to be using a real plant because I don't have a green thumb, but I did use real potting soil and I filled it all the way to the top and then added one of my Dollar Tree succulents. And that's it guys, you have Chip the Planter. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that DIY. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up if you did and share this video with any Beauty and the Beast fan that you might know. Maybe they wanna try this at home, especially since this is only a $2 project. If you guys want, make sure that you tag me on Instagram at PBJ if you try any of these projects at home. And again, guys, thank you so much for joining me this week and for all the love and support. See you next time.